Barkada and friends from all over the world. 大家好，全球的观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎您再次收看菲律宾唯一的高清华语电视节目。Chino TV 飞华电视台。We have such a fun-filled episode prepared for you guys today. 没错，今天呢，我们将带大家去逛街，品尝美食，看大明星，还有我们将要学习中文以及很多很多的 surprises. China Bergada， 今天我们会带你们到马尼拉的唐人街，一起了解华人悠久的历史和品尝传统的美食。哇哦，没错，而且呢，我还听说 Jason 还有 Caroline 他们在。唐人街、oh. 玩得非常的开心，非常的高兴。So so tahu ni apa? Nanti kembali episode. Sorry, dengar mana aku? Si continue. Ah, tindih lang yan. We also have Willard, Sharin, and Jason. Huh? Jason ada mana? Hahaha. Kalau kau tindih nih episode tu, apa yang dah kau dah mungkin exposure? And they went to Canyon Cove Resort. Yau jau, kau men Chinese basic dialogue. Mhm. Betul pak Kati. We have another super exclusive Chinoi access. Coverage today because Chinoy TV was invited to the Mega Pinoy Pride, the Turn of Ball 2011. 真的吗？哇， super exciting for our episode nothing today. Yes, 是的，所以呢，不要转台， don't change the channel. Keep it here only on Chinoy TV. 飞华电视台。A place where history is as rich as its culture. A community that stood the test of time. A home not just for Chinois, but for Pinoys as well. 全球的观众朋友们，大家早上好。今天让我们介绍华人区的历史。Mga Chinoy Barkada, samahan nyo kami this morning as we discover the history of Pinondo. We are very lucky today to have Mr. Anson Yu and Mr. Ivan Mandy to tour us around Binondo and tell us its history. So, sir, ano po ba yung ginagawa niyo? Uh, well, Old Manila Walks is a specialty tour outfit. Uh, and essentially, what we do are historical, cultural, and culinary tours around Manila, including Binondo. So, ano po ba yung mga plans natin for today? Uh, plans for today, we are gonna go around Chinatown and explore Ooh. the streets, no, the historic streets. Tell you something about the history of each street. Kung bakit mega nito, bakit mega yan. And of course, since we are in Binondo, we are going to try out some new types of food, yes. which we discovered in our walk. Yes. So, yeah. I can't wait. Let's yeah, start. Really Shall we start? Yeah. Let's start. The, the Governor General at that time, 1596, name was Luis Das Marinas, and he had talked with a man named who owned a hacienda outside of Manila, known as Binondo. Binondo. Okay. okay um, you might be wondering where the name comes from. Okay. The reason is this: Binondok is a contraction of the word Malit na bundok. That was because back then, if you were sailing into Manila, you would see Binondok first before you would see Manila, which is at sea level. Binondok was slightly higher, so you could see from the sea. Colonial government bought the land, the hacienda from Don Antonio, and they opened it up to the Filipino Chinese uh, to the Chinese community mm -hmm. for better Okay. So this became. Uh, the, the second oldest Chinatown in the world. So, ano po ba yung next point natin? Uh, we're now going to go down. Uh, I'm going to show you one street called Carvajal. Carvajal, okay. I want to show you first the street on, on to our right. This is Quintin Paredes. Uh -huh. uh, during the Spanish time, this street was one of the main commercial arteries of Pinondo, and it was called Calle Rosario. On the side street, this is Carvajal. This is the best place to start your exploration okay. of Binondo. Because here, the street among the locals, if you grew up here, you would know that the street name used to be called Koswa Hang. Why? Well, it's not because they hung umbrellas on the street. Ah, okay. The reason is this. Back in the 1930s, there used to be an umbrella factory on the street. It was very well known for that. Then today, it's more well known as a, a fresh produce market. You might be wondering why making you stop in the middle of the street, yeah. right? Now we want to pay homage to Don Roman Ong Pin. Oh, siya pala si Ong Pin. Okay. Okay. The very famous Ong Pin. But you know what he was famous for? No. <laughs> okay. The, re the story is this. Roman Ong Pin was born in the mid-19th century. Uh -huh. uh, he was half Filipino and half Chinese. And then when he grew, when he was uh, in his adult, when he was an adult, he opened a hardware store, which he called El Ochenta Idos. Can, can you guess why he called it that? 
80 idos means 82, right? Right. So, ibig sabihin, yun ba yun uh, the date na binuksan niya yung store? 18, yes. 1882? Yes, the year 1882. Ah, ha, ha. And then, um, it was unique among uh, stores at that time because it was among the first stores in Manila to have fixed price. But then, he was also very much a patriot. He was a friend to people like Juan Luna because he not only sold hammered and nails, he would also sell art supplies like canvases and paintbrush. Mm, okay. No, no, he doesn't. He, 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 he sells, sells them. Okay. Because when that's, uh, it was considered hardware before, my paint supplies. However, after his death in 1912, they renamed the street behind me after him. Because before his death, the street behind us used to be called Calle Sacristia. So after his death in 1912, it was renamed Calle Roman Ompin. Briefly. Now, the street ahead of us is called Salazar. It was named after the first Archbishop of Manila. Why was the street named in his honor? Well, the story was that there was at one point the Spanish, Spanish king viewed the Chinese as a security threat. He was afraid if, the, if they kicked out all the Chinese, the economic life of the, of the new, new, new colony would just. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. There are contributions to business of the Chinese. The king apparently changed his mind and never pushed through with the deportation order in the Chinese state. So that's why the street was probably named after him. So we're on our way to our, one of our first food stops and we will head This is in fact one of Binondo's specialty streets. So and, and yeah, it specializes in food, not specifically yes. fruits. fruits. So it's all fruits all the way to the end of the road. And since it's a food street, I think it's time to eat now. Okay. <laughs> We should all be proud that we're Filipinos, number one. Why? I think we're very talented, we're very creative, uh, we're also very smart. So as far as the Pinoy pride, dapat proud talaga tayo to be Filipino.